All right, and the next step you're going to want to do is install your comp cams phaser limiter kit. Uh, your phaser limiter is going to come in a box like this, uh, and it's going to include the tool and the actual limiter itself. So we're going to take our phase limiter and we're going to find the pin that retains the spring for the phaser. And what I always do to keep from messing this up is flip it over and put no on the bolt. That way I know not to remove this bolt, only to loosen it up. If you remove this bolt, the spring will become unwound and there is no way to wind it back up and you ruin the phaser limiter. One important thing to note on the phaser limiter installation is this pin. I'm not sure you can see it right here. The pin actually holds the spring from unwinding and if you remove this pin fully the spring will unwind in the phaser limiter and it'll ruin the actual phaser limiter as there is no way to rewind and reclock the spring. So what I do is I put a no on the bolt so that way you know to only lightly loosen this bolt but not take it all the way out. We're going to take our phaser limiter and our phaser limiter tool and there's a secondary pin that needs to be removed and we're going to take what the tool does is it pulls the spring back away from the pin and allows you to remove the pin because the ultimate goal here is to take this plate and swing it around so we can install our actual limiter. So we're going to take our tool, put it like that over the spring, and then we're going to tighten this down. Not all the way, just enough to pull the spring tension back off of the pin. We're going to rotate it over, and then we're going to remove all the bolts except for the no bolt. Okay, and then in order, in order to move our retention plate around, we're going to have to loosen the no bolt, but not take it all the way out. So I'm going to very carefully loosen the no bolt, just like that. And this will let us slide our plate around and install our phaser limiter. Now, the correct orientation to install the phaser limiter will be in this position, just above the tool. The way that you know that it's in the right spot is this will be contacting the inside of the phaser limiter right here and there will be no gap like the other ones. So we're going to take our phaser limiter, we're going to install it just like so. And then we're going to take our plate and we're going to put it right back. We're going to apply a small dab of Loctite to each of the bolts before we reinstall them. One other important thing to note on reassembly is that the long bolt with the pin goes back where the tool goes. It's very important that it goes back here, otherwise it will also uh, allow your phaser limiter to unwind. Now that we have all our bolts reinstalled, we're going to go ahead and torque up our phaser limiter bolts. Uh, the torque spec you're going to use is 14 foot-pounds. Uh, this can be a little tricky to torque. You may want to have somebody help hold the phaser limiter.
Okay, and then I'll make one more pass around just to be sure that everything's correct. 